My wife uh, got some adult coloring books mm -hmm. uh, for stress. Yeah. And that was the first time when I was married to her where I was like, am I going to be okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, what are you doing? Oh, I'm reading a book. Why are you reading that? Because. Well, dude, you have dates to plug, don't you? Don't you have something to plug? March 24th, the Scissor Bros will be in Houston, Texas for the Riot Comedy Festival. And I'll be headlining the Huntington Beach Rec Room on March 11th. Stand up on the spot of the Comedy Store on March 14th. Stevie Weeby's going to be there. And then I'll be in New York City, Austin, Houston, Vegas, Billings, Montana, and more. Tickets at JeremiahWatkins.com. Now let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros. A, a lot of our diehard Scissor siblings didn't like that episode specifically because we... Because the disrespect? Yeah. Scissor Brothers! I mean, it was he was making a face because I just asked him for a few things. No, 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 no. I just, I literally, I asked for one simple thing. What? Well, I, I used to have, I, I needed one stamp because uh, rent. Did I give up. it to you? you? I don't think you did. It's fine. It's okay. We don't have to do. You want to do it right now? Yeah. Okay. And then not only that, it's like, uh, here. I, look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, and guess what? That's what? a forever stamp. Yeah, this you is can a forever. Use it, you can use it forever. whenever. Forever. Yeah, forever stamp. Forever. Thank, I appreciate it. This yeah. saves me um, a trip to the post office there. Oh, so good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, wow, God. Just to let you know, we are doing a special episode in Alaska. It's uh, 34 degrees. <laughs> hey, this is the only <laughs> podcast where we deal with the elements every single episode. If it's hot, it's hot. What is going on with California weather? It feels like this is like East Coast weather, man. Oh, I know. Yeah. And you know a thing or two about that? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to also thank you. Um, my girlfriend was re recently visiting, and she had a great time hanging out with your son and your wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had a great time. Great time. Yeah. Appreciate that. Dude, um, of course. Uh, well, uh, so back to the weather. Yeah. So you're gonna ask, are you going to ask me about my uh, drips? The, Cause the what? My rain drips leakage. Because we got hit with some uh, flash flooding warnings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you didn't even ask me if I got flooded out. <laughs> Is it like a water park over at your place or what, brother? You know what? On a positive note, not really. Okay. Because uh, I got to um, give a shout out to my friend. Eric, uh, he, he's in my 12-step program, um, and he actually, uh, for preventative measures, we, I got, uh, I have, uh, we did a tarp job on my roof. Oh. And not only that, uh, I, I kind of uh, was working on my bathroom uh, leaks, too. I got a tarp there, too. So we uh, went on the roof there, and- um, You went on the roof? Yeah. I'm yeah. A, I'm impressed. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so- uh, it I, was, didn't, I didn't know you could do that. Well, it's I didn't know either, uh, but uh, I was I, on uh, on YouTube. I was looking up uh, uh, tarp videos. Uh, obviously, I didn't. We we, we kind of like uh, did a janky job. I, I didn't. There's a couple items you need. Like there's these roof tacks to get the tarp really, really secure. Yeah, and I, we didn't want to do that, so I just took bricks. Oh, what, okay. I thought you were doing my fart break, but my extinct fart fart break. Um, when I was doing a faces. Break. I know. I know. But we haven't done that in about a year. Um, Whoa. A little passive-aggressive. It's fine. I know it's dying. I think that's aggressive-aggressive. I know. I think it's dying. But, you know, I was going to ask you on a, <laughs> uh, off camera, maybe I could take that segment to the Stevie Weeby show and just because I could tell you guys are uh, not enthused anymore about my farts, which is fine, which is fine. I'll just take it to my thing. Is that okay? Yeah. Y you love that. I know you're okay with that. What do you mean, man? You're like, yeah. It, I mean, you're like, take it all. <laughs> take it all. I mean, if that's, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, man, but 
If you feel like it would be a better fit on the Stevie Weeby show, then I guess it's got, <laughs> it's a tough loss. Steve, I guess it, I guess it's, it, it should go over there. I think we could get over. Yeah, it. I mean, you guys aren't gonna cry cry me a river over it, are you? Well, I mean, I could. Just, Do you know what? Some, just this will make you happy. This will make you really happy. Somebody came up to me on the road this week and a scissor sibling, and they go, "Hey, man, can you do me a favor?" I go, "You gotta, you gotta give me a little bit more than, than just opening with, can you do me a favor?'" He goes, "Can you guys bring back the fart corner?" <laughs> and I go, "I don't know if I can make that promise," because I said, "I said for every one of you." that comes up to me who says something I get 10 to 15 messages telling me to stop it so I don't know if the math works out in your favor in that regard well can I give a shout out to my fart supporters can yeah give, yeah man you're all in my hearts I tr- you know I'm trying to I'm trying to make it work but these you know these guys it's hard you know to to swim up the current against the current you know what I mean I really appreciate the fart supporters man um I'm I'm sorry I'm I'm trying we're trying but I might have to take the segment to the Stevie Weeby show you know and I think that the cohesion and it would just the feng shui would be better um not discussing it because i noticed that like the last couple times i try to bring it up you guys literally just talk over me and go on to the next thing which is fine which is fine <laughs> but it hurts my feelings <laughs> it hurts when you do that oh yeah but anyway so the tarping um thing i'm doing is really it really helped my roofing oh, um right leakage it. yeah okay so um so that that's what's happening man yeah thank you for asking yeah yeah how are you doing? I mean, we we got some good positive things coming up uh, soon, huh? Uh, March twenty fourth. Oh yeah, we're doing our first Scissor Bros Live in, in a long time. And we how don't long have has it been? On, on... How long has it been? Dude, it's been over six months easily. And then I agreed to do a, another stand up on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. As practice to lead up for. And I said I would do it. And I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. And then another thing I noticed on social media. You are literally the second name on the main flyer. How do you feel about that? Oh, you mean for the Riot Comedy Festival in Houston? Yeah. It's the first time. It's the first time me being towards the top. They even like put my name on the flyer and I'm not oh, really yeah, active on brother. the on the comedy You're circuit one at all. Of the headliners of the festival. So it's mostly local acts. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, we're usually You're saying if I'm at the top <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! You're locals. taking you're you're taking it wrong. No, I'm but just how saying. How do you mean it? Well, though? I'm just saying on the past the past festivals we c- c- have done together as Scissor yeah. Bros, we're usually if this is the flyer, we're at the like you could barely read that our. That was na- a couple years ago, brother. I know. So we, that's you should feel good. We're I'm over a hundred episodes I, in. <laughs> I We've know. Been working. I know. So, how, d- dude, how does that make you feel? Finally, like being. You know, because it's like, you know, on like, let's let's use Coachella, for example. <laughs> you know, like there's like on stage C, there's a smaller act, but you're like, you know, Kings of Leon now or like Rage Against the Machine. You know, you're like up there at main, one of the main for this festival, bands. For this festival, I'm going to send you a text. The reason why I'm on my phone, I'm sending you a text to show you something. I, I want your, your genuine reaction. Okay, is this, are you setting me up for something here? No, 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 okay. no. You're going to like this. Okay. It has to do you with what... read it on the thing or... Uh, it's a photo. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that you're going to... I think that you're going to get a kick out of this when I send it to you. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Can I describe what I just... <laughs> is that you? <laughs> so... They put me on a billboard in here. <laughs> it looks like. It looks like. Can I describe? Yeah. It looks like a bad part of town. Um, what? <laughs> just, <laughs> Steve. Steve, that's one of my first billboards, brother. You're making fun of my billboard. Dude, it, it, uh, it looks. Man, they should have put it on more central, like at least in the city. This is <laughs> this, this billboard looks like 
It's in the housing development of that area. <laughs> and an abandoned like Cracker Barrel. Looks like Steve would live there. <laughs> All right. Whoa. You got you got your jab in, Whoa. Ryan. Focus on the future challenge, my friend. <laughs> no, I'm proud of you. But why did they... What do you mean? Why did they what? It's a billboard, but it's on like... The side of a, a building. Yeah, it's on... A ban. Uh, it's like, like a giant banner. It's like a banner. Yeah, it's like dude. A- that's a big deal. Good congratulations. That's <laughs> a big you. deal. The riot. So what kind of festival? It's What's a the history? Festival. Oh, okay. It's a new new one. It's a new one. Yeah. So that means they're gonna you're gonna get the red carpet treatment there, brother. You will too, brother. Yeah, but I don't really. Yeah. Oh wow. Guess who got their own room this year? I I got my. Your own one. Really? That's the first time we usually I'm bunk I'm sharing it. a room with Chris. But th- we're usually bunking together. I know. But I'm leaving literally that night. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, in the um, morning, yeah. In the morning. Yeah. Um, you get to sleep at the, uh, over there. So do you think, how are our sales going? Should we start plugging it now? Or? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know how it's going, but yeah, come see us in Houston for sure. Yeah, come see us in Houston um, March 24th and um, get your tickets where? Uh, at the you riot. can get them at jeremiahwatkins.com. That's the easiest way to link to the riot and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Uh, yeah, riot. Got, like, all Does the Riot Comedy stuff. Festival have a link as well? Or uh, Yeah, yeah. They've got their festival passes mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And then March 14th, um, that's when Steve's going to be on stand-up on the spot. Mm-hmm. I'll have the mm-hmm. link up for that too. Okay, yeah. That's good, man. You know, some positive things happening. No, uh, dude, we just did our 100th, man. Yeah, how do you feel about that? With the I 100th mean, episode? Yeah. Well, how do you feel about it? Because here's my thing. Yeah. I think that all of us are good friends. Mm-hmm. Eric, Rick, mm-hmm. myself, you. Mm-hmm. I think that it was an odd energy and a lot of people picked up on it, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that um, a, a lot of our diehard Scissor Siblings didn't like that episode specifically because we because the disrespect yeah <laughs> and, i don't and, like the way rick and eric because you're amongst you know you're a fellow comedian in their community but it just seems like their attitude was like D- we don't have to we don't even want to be here <laughs> type deal. yeah no that's uh you know what i mean uh, like if they were on like a some other podcast it's i think it's because it's me and you they're like we're like they treat us like we're jv in their varsity yeah i don't know how we have the little brother vibe of podcasts but (laughs) what do you mean you don't know (laughs) what do you mean we just we have the little brother vibe we're like the nickelodeon it's like they're the big dogs and we're like they look at us like we're nickelodeon nick at night or something you know um i don't like that though how do we change that with them uh, how do shock we, treatment well shock treatment could be i think you need to go on um take your shoes off you got to go on there i love rick i really do mm-hmm. i'm i'm scared though of rick that's why it'll be because he's good, gonna i think psychoanalyze he will i don't want the you, psychoanalyze you can psychoanalyze him right back i mean yeah but it's like he's more like darth sidious and i'm more like still a padawan in that regard I feel like he's just, you know, mm-hmm. he's gonna, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what's happening. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You think it's a good idea? I mean, Ryan would like to see it, huh? I think it'd be good. I think it'd be good for the show too. So, I mean, it'll. it'll oh. I think it'd be good for this. Yeah, because like when we had them on, it was good for the show, and I think you and I, we should be doing more podcasts together in general. We just did Sarah Highlands podcast. Oh yeah, that's out. Um, go to uh, not cool. Uh, Sarah Highlands podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um. And yeah, I mean, I think that's the most you could do. Um, because uh, I even asked Andreas from uh, shout out to Fancy B from uh, the producer for uh, Bad Friends, and he said the main thing that helps is hopping on other podcasts to promote your own. That's I the think main that's thing why we stayed at seventy eight thousand subscribers for so long is we weren't going on other people's podcasts and stuff. Oh, Steffi hit me up too. We got to do Steffi's as well. Okay, cool. So what else? I forgot. I lost my train of thought. We were talking there. about the 100th and, and yeah, ha- the 100th. how we felt yeah, about it yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And I I liked how I put a lot of work into the edit. Uh, shout out to uh, Jordan Blavo, our editor. Um, mm-hmm. He did um, 
you know, the first pass to like to to get it all constructed into a consumable podcast and then went through it with him and we added a lot of stuff together and stuff like that. Be honest about this. How long did that edit really take you guys? Between Jordan and I? Just overall. I spent over 30 hours myself on that edit. 30 hours? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. I spent all week on it. When when you're doing that, are you are you looking at every uh God, that fruit fly is bothering me. Are you looking at every Are you yeah. looking at every second of Yeah, you get it? It's a mosquito or fruit fly. Yeah, they really bother me. Mosquito. I think I got it. Oh, good. Um so are you are you looking at when you're editing, you're looking at every second, you're really like dissecting it? Uh, that's not really, I mean, yes and no. Yes and no. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for moments. I'm looking for moments, uh, comedic moments to add and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, yeah. And since we brought up, you know, I, I, I brought up editing, um, I wanted to also thank you guys for encouraging me to get a new PC as well. Oh, yeah, that finally happened. Yeah, I um I Ryan aided me in that. I you know, I know you guys told me to, you know to build your own. You got like the whole crazy one, mm-hmm. the mega one, but uh I went um Ryan helped me out. Thank you, Ryan. Uh I, and I head down, I headed down to um Best Buy and I got a um a, a good uh, it, it's really compact too. Yeah. Uh how many um gigabytes are are uh, memories on there, Ryan? I think it's only 16, but your 16. last one had 8. Yeah, so my last one had eight. Yes, yeah, so you doubled it up, brother. I doubled it up. Doubled it up. And so, can I tell you how noticeable the uh, edits have been for me? Very noticeable. Very noticeable. How much Be- time are you saving now? Well, to give you perspective on my process of editing to render, because when I put my footage, it's just you know my just my blank raw footage on in Adobe Premiere. To render it, because that line would always be red, mm-hmm. it would take me five to six hours just for it to render to be able to edit. Now, I don't have to, that's, there's no red line. I could just do, and then it's done. So would you say you're saving eight hours a week now? Yeah. Oh, what are you going to do with that eight hours a week? Have you thought about that? All the saving time of. I had to throw it in there, man, because, you know, that's the only fart I probably have that's going to be played this episode. I'm really proud uh, you're, you're utilizing your time. <laughs> with my um, Great response, Mike. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did my that. My genuine so question. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm you, so sorry. You, you have been gifted what? what eight hours of your life back a week. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to use it on? That's I'm, a big, I'm, I'm that's working. A question. I'm I'm still working on my album. Great. And I, yeah. Great. Thank you. And so, um, <laughs> and and I appreciate you. Look, I don't need all the plug plugs in, and that was really sweet of you to even ask. Like, hey, you know, um. You know when we we plug our stuff and 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 Rick and and Eric kind of skip past me. That's fine. I uh, yeah. I called I, Steve about it later, and I said I said, hey man, I'm adding stuff into this episode. Do you want, you know, can I add in a video like literally a video of you doing plugs or whatever? But Steve, I, and that was sweet of you. Thank thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. No, but uh, I figured I don't want to kind of like uh, you know. You know, just uh, start plugging when I'm not like when I'm closer to finishing it. I think it's more appropriate. I just yeah. don't want to like just hype it up when I'm not really close to finishing it or whatnot. Yeah. You know what I liked about the Ian Fidance episode? The what? The Ian Fidance episode of Scissor Bros that we did last week. Which one? Ian Fidance. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah, I like. It. I really like that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you know about what I like it? about that yeah. episode? It felt like early Scissor Bros where the energy. Was very loose and silly. I like that. That's what we're all about. I know. And I wish we could do more of that. Um, but the thing is, I gotta be very um, 
mindful because I think more people and I appreciate I, I I'm sorry for sending you all the 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 um the gay pictures and stuff. <laughs> Are we talking about that? I mean, we can because people think I I think legit people think I'm actually really really gay, which I'm not. I just like doing gay shit. <laughs> Lord, no, no, dude. Oh my God! In a court of law, vagina for life, and you know it. It's vagina for life, Ryan. You know, you see my beautiful girl. I mean, okay, listen. You, yeah, I don't think that you're gay. I like to engage. It's fun. I think you are, without a doubt, bisexual. Oh my. God. Unbelievable. No way. Exit only. Exit only. No, 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 no. I think... I believe that. I don't think you want anything in your butt. I think you would have sex with a dude. What the hell? Absolutely not. And I'm willing to put my life on it on my father's soul. Absolutely not, brother. Absolutely not. Gross, man. This is the worst acting I've ever seen. There, this is not acting. I'm not Gross, acting. Gross, man. Why would I do that? This is not man? acting. I will not kiss another man. I won't. Uh, lie no, right there. There's no butt fucking. There's no sucking. There's none of that, dude. I like joking around about it, dude. Oh my god, dude. Holy moly, guacamole. I can't believe you said that. I like, you know what, dude? And the thing is, I'm going to stop doing that because now I think there's, I think because gay guys, like I've noticed like uh, me and my gal were at Starbucks and this guy was literally hitting, hitting on me pretty hard, dude. <clears throat> and it made me feel a bit uncomfortable. Like he like looked at me with very like stern eyes. He was like. You know, and I'm like, dude, I think that guy's looking at me. And then he followed me out, and we're, I was drinking my Americano outside by the tables there outside of uh, Target and the Starbucks. And he, he actually sat there, and he uh, followed me out there. And he, you know, and so I don't want to put that energy. I mean, I, I like doing, it's fun, it's fun just to joke around about that stuff. But I think I might chill on it for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> What, there's something in my butthole? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Slower! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, if there was... Let's let's play this game, because you know I love my games, my scenario Stevie games. Hypotheticals. Yeah, Stevie Hypotheticals. Now, if a gay man offered me, like, large sums of money, like, let's say, $5 million, and he goes, Hey, all you have to do, meet me at the, my condo. And but and but it's like a full on like sex fest where he uh, squirts like baby oil in my butt and does he just sodomizes me. But five million dollars, I would probably do it for five million dollars, dude. Five million dollars, I think I would. But I would make him take a um, you know, testing for AIDS and stuff like that, or um, you know. The way your mind works is and then fascinating I, to me. <laughs> you are an enigma of all of my friends. They don't talk about this stuff. No, they don't. What do they talk about? Just like their material and stuff like that? No, just not this. Okay. Oh, so let's talk about, so let's give them context for the pictures. We're trying to go over the challenges. For the podcast, yeah, between a group thread between Ryan, myself, and Steve. Are you sure you and want so to bring I this keep, up? I keep, yeah, you brought it up. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm texting. I'm like, hey, what about this idea? What about that idea? And Ryan's like, yeah, that can maybe work. And then Steve was like, I've got it. He starts sending gifts of gay dudes having sex, like full on in the butt. Like <laughs> it's fun. It was funny to me. <laughs> it was funny. To and I said, this needs to be the challenge. He said, that oh. needs to be the challenge. Just dudes railing each other. <laughs> and you That's wonder, funny, right? you funny. wonder why it's so crazy for people to think or me to think that you could yeah, be bi. But it's funny. It's funny, dude. 
it's Dude, fun. it's it, funny. It's funny the first one hundred yeah. times. I only sent three, and then the thousandth time. I <laughs> sent three. I sent three. I'm just I saying sent three, in, the, dude. in the in the whole oh, grand man. scheme of things. Yeah. Okay, man. I'll stop doing it. But you know, I love my girlfriend, and I'm not bisexual, and I want to put that out there. I'm <laughs> I, I'm not bisexual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, vagina is just the best thing on the planet. Right. I love eating. I mean, don't you love it? <laughs> yeah. You love eating it? You like fucking it? Everything. It's great, buddy. Okay. How, how come you feel so uncomfortable like, talking about sex stuff? Like, I mean... Oh, yeah, we don't want to get flagged. I'm sorry, Ryan. We'll stop. <laughs> okay. No, you're good. Okay. But I'm just saying... Um. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, we just can't describe. We just can't go into detail. No, 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 no. And I didn't. Right, I said. No, you're good. I'm not accusing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but you like eating it, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Steve. No, no, no. Seriously, you do eat it. I love to dine on the sweet vagina. Is that what you want to hear? You you eat it. Is that what you want to hear? Yeah. Do you eat it? Yeah, I do. I take it to go. Let me see your. Can I see your technique? No. Just show me, man. No. (laughs) Do you go hungry, mungry down there? Oh my goodness. Uh, Oh look, you're already shutting down. It's fine. Okay. I I love it. Just (laughs) you just. It's like a meal. Don't you look look at it like a meal, like a it's like dessert. I'm so, really? okay. We'll stop talking about it. Yeah, we'll stop talking about. It. <laughs> That's your Taco Bell fourth meal is vagina. Oh, dude, it's the best. It's the best. I just love. You know what I love about it too is quick. I, <laughs> do an impression of a bi guy who talking about vagina. <laughs> there ain't no bi guy here, dude. This is straight hetero, <laughs> Asian heterosexual. Energy, um, I love the, I love the, uh, I just love smell. I love the smells. I don't, I, you know, I just love, yeah, yeah, the, just the inside of the. He's trying really hard to be convincing. Ryan, I mean, Steve's about to red zone. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. No, he is. Yeah. He is. I'm not. I meditated this morning. I feel great. You know what? I noticed an energy about you as soon as you walked in. Could we do some meditation scissors right now? Could we do that? Mm-hmm. 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 Could we? I'm going to follow your lead on this. Okay. Okay. Can I do like a like a Buddhist mm-hmm. <clears throat> type chant? We're still going to cross like slightly? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Just, I guess like this. Are you? Are you doing this? The middle fingers? Yeah. I guess like this? Yeah. Uh, wait, I'm gonna do the. Do um, this at home with us, guys. It'll so make you you, feel you, good. you count the scissors, but I'm gonna do like you a, do the humming. I'm gonna do the hum. Okay, okay. go ahead. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Do you guys feel better? Yeah. Ryan, you feel better? Absolutely. Ryan, did you even take part in that or no? Yeah, in my mind. And also I have to make sure you guys sound fine. True. Um, Can I give you guys gifts? Yeah. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Where are they located? In the trash bag. Are these real <laughs> gifts? <laughs> I know he came in. I came in to protect it from the rain. Uh, okay, so are these actual gifts or did you just grab items from your house? Come on, man. These are gifts gift, like yeah. that people sent in the P.O. box? Mm-mm. Oh, I mean, if you want, yeah, let's do a segment. Where, Can I? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. You're going to freak out over one of these gifts. Really? I can't take responsibility. I'm just the conduit. But who, who sent these gifts? You. I'll them? tell you once, once I hand them to okay, you. Okay, just surprise us. 
Does Ryan get some too? Okay. Scissor Brothers! Yeah, man, these Raycons kick ass, man. Yeah, I love Raycons. Yeah. It's easy to give up on resolutions that are too big. Uh. Why not start with something small? Yeah. Change up your routine yeah. with better sound with a new pair of Raycons. Listen to our next episode at the gym with the Raycons, and you'll hear what we mean no matter how you listen. Raycons got you covered. Raycons... <laughs> Icons start at half the price of other premium yeah. audio brands, and they'll rock so hard they'll knock your teeth out. Yeah. Buy one for yourself and one for your scissor sibling, and still pay less than you would with the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> with buy now, pay later options, it's an easy and free return guarantee. Raycons are the easy choice. Never leave home without yeah. them. With eight hours of playtime, crystal clear call quality and resistance to water and sweat you can take these puppies anywhere yeah take a call in the sauna like joe rogan or listen to your favorite album on a run ready to buy something small with the big impact go to buyraycon.com slash scissorbrows 15 to get 15 percent off the raycon order that's <laughs> buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 yeah. to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15. Here I am! Na, 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 na. Rock, Rock you like, like a Raycon! Come on! Here I am! Rock you like a Raycon! Rock you like a Raycon! Man, your teeth are doing overtime. Hey, God. What the frick is that? Hmm? That was a bad choice. Oh, God, man. Ray Con. Ray Con. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, go. We're doing some creative things over at patreon.com slash scissor bros. Get there today to get that bonus episode exclusive content only at patreon.com slash scissor bros. Because guess what? We do a new bonus episode every single week. Just like this, how we do a new dance every time we're on camera. Patreon.com <laughs> slash scissor bros. Join today for Join the fun. <laughs> Join today. Wait, what are you doing? Join today for the fun. Join, Join today, today for, for the fun. fun. Turn around. <laughs> for the fun. Join, Join today, today for, for the, the fun. fun. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's joining after that, brother. <laughs> This first one is from our buddy to you. Oh, Eric. Tweak sauce. Nice. Send you a brand new t-shirt. I love Eric. Thank you, Eric. It's it. Yeah. Love Eric. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You know, this is from... Um, Excite the, Bike. The, yeah, yeah, Excite Bike. I used to play that on the... Check out Eric Tweak sauce. Yeah. And then Cuzzo sent you something. Oh, that's so nice. Is that beef jerky? Throw it over oh here. God. He said <laughs> so much. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, I want you to open this up. I want Dude, you to, I love his beef jerky. I want too. you to open this up because he sent a special something in there that was just for you that he didn't even send to me. Thank you, guys. Can I can I share? Can I throw Ryan? So I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to eat all Ryan. No, no, no. We shouldn't eat it on the podcast because we got complaints on the Patreon for us chewing into the we mic. We did. Yeah, but but I want you to look at something that he put in there, especially for you. Shout out to our buddies Cuzzo and Tweak Sauce. We game with them all the time. That's beef jerky, brother. What all you were talking about? What you said from your childhood that you so like to get? Oh, the shredded. He made it specially for you. 
Can I give you? There's three of them. Can I give you guys one? They're too? all for you. No, I don't want to take all the shit. No, no, no. He gave me a separate beef jerky oh, bag. Oh, you have a separate bag too? Yes. That's all for you. Oh, my God. God, Christmas came early, folks. Yeah. Holy moly. And then there's uh, different flavors. Oh, there's he- a letter. Oh, can I read the letter? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. What a great day. Okay. Hey, Steve. That was really cool that you guys gave me so many shout outs on the pod. It really meant a lot. As silly as it seems, I take quite a bit of pride in in this one thing I feel like I'm pretty good at. You're really good at it. He's really, really good good. You're really good at it. So it was awesome to share it with you guys. I hadn't made any jerky in quite a while. And seeing how much you look like you enjoyed it, it really inspired me me to make more and try out some new recipes i never written down recipes i tried but a couple of the new ones are pretty close to the scissor flavor you had before with a couple tweaks i tried to do a korean style but fell asleep and over dried it pretty bad (laughs) i thought a good way to save it would be to try out the shredded style in the dip can after he- hearing you talk about it. That's a good idea. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that <laughs> bonus episode. It didn't turn out quite like I had hoped, but I've been just sprinkling it in my fried rice, mac and cheese, etc. Anyway, because you seem to like it so much, I wanted to send you some more. I hope you love all of it, and I will, brother. Thanks for b- bringing me so much joy and laughter. Congrats on the 100th, 100th episode. And I hope you guys keep going for 100 more. Love you guys. Cuzzo. That was so nice of him. Cuzzo, thank you. Can I can I, can I? I give him a, a little bit more uh, feedback and love? Yeah. I honestly think Cuzzo can make this into like a, a, a legit business. business. I think so too. Like, you know what? I think... Cause I ever since I had his beef jerky, cause I've been looking down the uh, gro- you know the aisle at Ralph's, the gro- mm-hmm. my local grocery store. And I'm looking at like the Kroger's and like the uh, Jack Links, and I'm like, this can't mess. This can't even compete with uh, Cuzzo's. Doesn't even touch it. I would pay like an additional couple dollars just to eat just cu- per bag. Yeah, yeah, cause it's so the quality. Have so you good. noticed that when even at a uh, gas station beef jerky, yeah. like I've spent like top dollar. Yeah, like on like the 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 good the 12, one, the local bucks company, or whatever, yeah. and it tastes like crap. I know, but Cuzzo's actually tastes good. That you're like, whoa, this is like marinated and it has like a lot of flavor, you know. So I hung out with Tweak Sauce, his wife, and Cuzzo in Chicago. Oh, I know. And and we sent you a little video, but mm-hmm. and then here's some footage that uh, of us uh, me hanging in Chicago with them. It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Oh my goodness. Is this heaven in Chicago? Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. We are about to go crazy at Portillo's. This one's built in 1901? No. Oh. He's just making sure. Okay. Well, I believed you. Pretty good at it. Dude, I love everything about what's going on here out in Chicago. Yeah. Portelos. Okay, this guy is a genius. There's no way he's carrying an oversized load in that little thing. What is he carrying in there? Oh man, I wish we could talk to him. Little P with an oversized load. He's even got the hazard sign on the hitch. Is he? What if he is smuggling something? I'm so curious. Yes, it's going to make it. Here we go. It's on the eight. And he doesn't make it. That's all right. Can Jeremiah pull it off? We'll see if he can do it. Zoom. Bring it back. Okay, Ryan, you ready for your gifts? Yeah, let's see what you got. Wait, what the? 
Okay. Oh, an all black MLB hat. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had an all black MLB hat in so long. Thank you. So, wait, who's this from? This is Cuzzo? No, this is from me. Oh, from really? Yeah. yeah. Oh crap. I I know that you like your 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 flat bills. Yeah. Your flat and rims fitted, too. Wow. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. All right, yeah. let's see what else we got here. And also, Adam Ray wore that for one day on a sketch shoot, and uh, I didn't want to return it. So, so it's special. You want to fight? How about you want to talk? Back can beat you at arm wrestling. Give you a 10 second head start. Psych! Do you want to have a staring contest and get to know each other a little better? I blacked out. Duh. Woke up in a pool mile of vomit. Awesome. And still slept with your sister. I've been happily married for 13 years. Yeah, I do have the high score on the punching game at my local bar. Jealous? When I walk into a bar, let's just say they know my name. If it's trivia night. Who's got that cat on me? Who, who, who? The only special K I have is part of my balanced breakfast. I still work out to Kanye and fuck to R. Kelly. When we talk, we learn. And when we learn, we grow. I can't stop coming. Do I come? <laughs> sure, when my wife calls me. <laughs> I'm a premature ejaculator. It's special, so Adam Ray's worn that hat. Yeah. All right. Come out. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan asked for this months ago, and it's from the sponsor Kamikoto. Dude. <laughs> the Kamikoto Knife Company? <laughs> I'm giving all the knives to Ryan. <laughs> That's so nice of you. <laughs> so Ryan got the Kamikoto he, Knife. He, <laughs> Yeah, he said, he said, he, he's like, Jeremiah, months ago, he goes, hey, buddy, can I, can I have can one I of those? I go, I can't give them over yet because I don't know if we're going to do sponsor. more. Well, we don't know if we're going to use them for more ads. Right. So I was like, just hold off a second. Turns out they're a scam. <laughs> Ryan gets all the knives. <laughs> yes. Ryan, those are top of the line knives, No, no, they brother. are. They are nice. How sharp are those bad boys? They'll stab an eye. They will. Yeah. Ryan, how do you feel about that? Dude, you got great, dude. a whole set of Kami Kato knives. I always want more knives. Is this what, what? certificate <laughs> of authenticity? Wait, do you have a knife collection? He's like, I always There's want more knives. knives. Yeah, they're cushion knives. Okay. They're good. So do you have an extensive collection at home, Ryan? Uh, I have a couple kitchen knives, some butterfly knives, and whatever. Oh, good I grew you, up man. collecting knives. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like where would you get knives like Walmart? Like guns or something? and knife shows. I guns used to go with my dad. Shows, yeah. you used to go to guns and knife shows. Really? Kansas, Jeremiah. He hit different. Oh my God. Yeah. So what kinds of uh, knives? What's the most deadliest knife? The K bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's you know. Is any knife? Any a buck knife? As simple as a buck what knife. What could do the most damage? Something that's like military. Like the Rambo. Where it goes What's the in? Rambo knife in, in First Blood? Rambo. M9. Well, this, well, those kind of knives, what's dangerous about that, when you pull out, it has serrated edges, so serrated it, ri edges. it rips on the way out. And that's the Rambo, what Sylvester Stallone, what John Rambo used, Sylvester Stallone. Mm. Yeah, um, was... The one with the compass. Uh, right I have one of those. So how many knives do you guys, I'm just curious, how many knives do you guys have? I think at one point I had like probably 30 knives or something like that. Really? Yeah. And how much do they go for? Like how do... It depends. Some of them are cheap. I literally had, I used to collect Swiss Army knives that were little yeah. like keychain ones that like I had for years that those were like five to ten bucks sometimes. What would be the most practical knife for uh, like protection? Like just if you want to carry it uh, on the street, like switchblade or butterfly knife, probably. Or yeah, not you say? a butterfly knife. People are just scared of those for no reason. A switchblade, yeah. Switchblade. Well, you can't carry those in, you can't own them in California either. Really? Yeah, you can't own butterfly. Well, what? you can own butterfly knives, you can't sell them. Or switchblades. Mm. So, Man, we should do a thing because I don't. Interesting. Yeah, or spring I, knives. I, I want a. I want a knife. You want a knife? Well, you guys have a bunch. I don't. You want to go knife? I have one buck knife. You want to go knife shopping? Then we'll go car shopping. <laughs> get the knife. What? Is oh, get the knife first so I can have it in my car. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, how much is your typical, just average buck knife or switchblade or, or something like that? You, you can get knives for you know twenty dollars up to you know like a Benchmade's gonna cost you two hundred and fifty dollars. Dude, there's an army surplus store around my my area. Maybe I could get one there. Probably. Okay. Yeah. And so are there ones where uh, 
they're like just like just rugged and ready to just like a like a army uh issued one uh, or military issued i yeah. mean they've got a bunch of those yeah they've... and you got some uh i mean i don't i think some of them are still in kansas uh but i might i might have them somewhere inside do you have what's the one you use for home protection that's the jamaican machete You have a machete? Yeah, you do too, underneath your bed. <laughs> oh, we bonded yeah, over yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, but you don't have any guns though, right? Mm-mm. Okay. But you said you, you said knife and gun shows. That's all I mean. Oh, I grew up with guns, yeah. Yeah. So my wife my wife is anti-gun. But you you have with someone in Kansas, don't you? Oh, dude, my brother and my dad. Oh, my goodness. How many, uh, no, if you be, came with me to Kansas City, you'd be like, that's a lot of guns. How many guns? Like, like what's the I'm not going to put out on the internet how many guns my brother and my dad have. <laughs> but let's just say you don't want to break and enter into their home. Now, um, what's the most practical practical gun for home protection? Uh, some people would say a nine Glo- millimeter, nine, mili- a nine millimeter Glock, but it could be a, sh- a shotgun, I mean, shotgun yeah. if you really want to just blow somebody away. <laughs> so what's the difference between, uh, I don't know much about guns. Um, nine millimeters, your standard issued. <laughs> a lot of cops carry nine millimeter guns. They do the Glock. Okay. Yeah. Glock or Beretta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, Ryan, X- Ryan knows. Right. So, um, a person like me, do you think I should get a gun? You should get a Derringer. Yeah. That's a perfect Steve gun. Why? A why Derringer's dare- a mini gun. It's like a. It's sometimes a lady gun that like, like it's like this big, and you pull it out and you pew pew. But it'll still kill somebody. No, I want a thirty-eight special. Uh, a thirty-eight special. Those things have some kick to it. Thirty-eight cal. Oh, they'll. I mean, they'll literally like, like if snub you nose. shoot it, they snub go nose. like this. Whoa. Yeah, snub nose. Whoa. Whoa, snub nose and big nose. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, you don't need it. Well, I think I do. I would not like you to have a gun. <laughs> why not? <laughs> because why not? This is you. Why me? This is you. Why? With a gun in the mirror at home. <laughs> oh, you know what? It'd be like Travis Bickle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'd be Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver. Yeah. You look. I think at you. Me? I think you would lick it. I think you would. I think you would like, like, like you know, put it down your pants, rub yeah. it around. What? Absolutely. What are you guys talking? <laughs> Absolutely not. I would do Travis Bickle taxi driver. Yeah. You looking at me? Well, I'm the only one standing here, and I would, you know. You'd be Stevie Uber driver. You can do that with an airsoft gun. I can get you one of those. No, I want a real one. All right, but you can't have bullets. What do you mean? You're just the gun, so you can pose in the mirror. With have it. you ever dated a girl with fake boobs? Whoa, that was kind of a shift. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get, to get off the gun topic. No, no, All no. Right, I won't get a gun. We were talking about real and fake. I want a real gun. But wait, I'm not going to. I wait. most likely won't no, get no, no, one. No, no, no. Do you want. Wait. Are you, was that about the boobs or the gun? I'm confused. I now. like real. Real. I like real. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guns? Real. Or boobs? Both real. Oh, okay. Yeah, both real. Okay. I'm not going to get one. But it would be, you know. Because I know, uh, like, with my personality type, because I, I do have a red zone thing, and I, I wouldn't And want... you have a pink zone. <laughs> you got a pink zone, too. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, too. Um, yeah, I won't get one, guys. I'm not going to get one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just to be safe. You know. Should we go dance in the rain? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Could be a fun segment. No. We got a good song for it. Could be good. So we dance in the rain to get into the challenge? Yeah. Actually, before we get to the challenge. Yeah, do we have any um uh questions submitted to us? No, we have we have a song for the dance break. But before we get to the challenge, there's been a few people asking about the total count of challenge wins and losses. You tallied them up? I've tallied them up oh. for a while now. I know I'm I'm at a deficit, but go ahead. So out of the a hundred episodes, we've done eighty-six challenges where it's you versus you, know, Steve versus Jeremiah. Oh. Sometimes we have guests, you know, and then we don't have, you know, what. Right. So, out of eighty-six challenges, Steve has won thirty-five, <laughs> and Jeremiah has won fifty-one. That's actually not crazy, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's 
There's some balance there. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Wow. I also counted how many times you guys did um, eating challenges where you have to eat a lot or whoever eats the most. Humans. And Steve has won less than 20% of the time on those. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Eating challenges. Yeah. Absolutely. Steve's. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And then Steve picks eating challenges on his week sometimes. Yeah. So probably oh, probably God. don't do that. <laughs> Ooh. It's still fun to me, though. I don't care oh, okay. if I lose. Yeah. It's still fun. Oh, maybe we'll have a shift on the next hundred. Oh, I just thought of ideas. Yeah, so we're going to reset yeah. at 100, 51, 35. We'll see what the next chunk Oh, wait. Is. We're resetting? We're resetting the count, starting with 101. Mm -hmm. And we're also probably going to revisit some challenge, either challenges or punishments that people liked a lot that we could redo better. Mm. Yeah, that where we needed some producer help to kind of yeah, mm -hmm, make them. Because mm -hmm. so, there's a couple of ones that I felt like the challenges were great, but they ended way too early. Yeah, hey, give me some examples. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, the one. video game one. Oh, that one should have been redone. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, I already have a plan for the video game one, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be. Way way better and much easier for you guys. So, right, it's right, gonna right. Take right. some some R and D to get that one yeah. ready to go. Are you playing um Harry Potter a uh, Hogwarts Legacy? No, not yet. Okay, but I will. I was just gonna say, like on a side note, we should we should get into playing another game other than uh, Fallout, guys, with the patrons as well. Like switch it up. Is that game multiplayer? I don't think it is, is it? I don't know. We should do something with the patrons oh, oh, where gotcha. it's like more like, I like Fallout guys, but it's, games, you know, yeah. we should maybe switch it up now. Uh, the Get um, into another game. Yeah. So we will do with our scissor parents, we do um, exclusive gaming mm -hmm, on there. Mm -hmm. And also we do our bonus Patreon episodes every week. A which bonus, those, a whole different. Those new... get cry cry. Yeah. They get crazy. They get crazy. Unfiltered. So sign up, patreon.com slash scissor bros. If you want that bonus episode every week, we have it. It's up there, and you can only get it there. Nowhere else. Not on YouTube. Nowhere else. Patreon.com slash scissor bros. Do you want to go dance in the rain? Okay. The song for the dance break comes from Stefan. He goes by the name Changing Spaces. He's in Cape Town, South Africa. Let's get it. Oh, cool. Welcome to Scissor Bros. Your favorite oh, adult yeah. cartoon I morning music. show. That's fine. You can add it in later. Heck yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some scissors. Let's do some scissors. I'm already out of breath. But I know. Let's do it Catching the rain from the house. <laughs> are you dancing at home with us in the rain or ankle the weather outside? We hope you are. Welcome to the Hot Potato Challenge. You all know the classic game of hot potato, all right? We're gonna go back and forth, but the punishment on this one, whoever has it last is basically gonna have to eat mashed potatoes from the other one's bare butt <laughs> that smashed potatoes. Like, well, you have to specify like your butthole? You get to sit in it. But bare butt? Yeah. But did you wipe your butt? Yeah. Okay, me too. <laughs> Ryan, do you want to go over the logistics <laughs> yeah. of uh, the actual challenge part? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're actually doing points. We're yeah. not doing whoever has it last loses because the potato is super hot. It's actually been microwaved for a long time and it's very hot. So you actually don't want to hold on to it very long. But... If you can brave the heat, if you're holding it at the end of the timer, because I'm going to set a timer each round, each round, random time, if you're holding it at the end, you get a point. Oh, you want to hold it. You want this. to hold it, but it is 
very hot. Yeah. Okay. So you got to bury it as long as you can and then toss it over. So this is, we have to use bare hands, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it's cold in here, so that's going to okay. probably make it worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, more so, stingy. Yeah, more yeah. stingy. So the first of three points wins. Okay. And then, yes, the loser. Is there time? Yeah. So I will be time? setting a timer each round. A random time. You won't know when it's going to end. Oh, my goodness. So yep. we don't know. So we, oh, it's like musical chairs. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah, a yeah, little yeah. bit like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there's some. There's a, an element of chance to this, too. Yeah. yeah. Could be a shorter amount of time. Right. Could be a really long amount of right. time. All the rounds will be under one minute. Yeah. So, But you don't so know hot. how long. Okay. Okay. So as soon as the alarm... Well, you'll be the ref. You'll yep. be the ref. Okay. All right. Ready to go. Okay. Here we go. Cut to that in a second. Three, two, one... Go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. It more becomes a game of timing when we think the, uh, the, um, <laughs> the, when that alarm's gonna go off of the randomness. Because it's so Five. cool. And Jeremiah had it last. Yep. So Jeremiah got one. He's the juggling. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ooh, give me a good burn there, brother. Whatever the O's you're doing. Time. <laughs> yes. Almost had it, dude. Ooh. Ready? All right, this third round? Yep. Go. Stevie Painty. Mm. Oh, golly Bosch. Golly Bosch. Oh, frick. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Steve. Hand it over, buddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that tactic worked. Okay. That one's heating up a little bit. <laughs> dropping it. Okay, am I... Yeah. I want one. I want one. How many rounds are we doing? You're going to three points, so you got to hold it or else Jeremiah gets the point. Oh. Steve is, he was toughing it out. <laughs> Time. Uh, I, two, I needed one. one. I needed two, one. Two, one. Wait, what does that mean, though? Two, one. Yeah, yeah keep going until someone gets three. Until somebody gets three? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Ready, go. Ooh. I'm going to squeeze it out, make it more hard for you. <laughs> Don't get crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really? I don't want to get it over. Get it over. Okay. I can do hey, that. Hey, no, I you can't can do, do that. I can do that. Oh, right? come on, Steve. You he can blow on it. Uh, yeah, he can't blow dude, on it, dude. I mean, don't I, blow on it, Steve. What did you didn't say? I couldn't I blow on it. I didn't say, but oh, this one gets tied right, up. I can't tied. blow it. Yeah. I mean, it didn't make that big of a difference. Okay. 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 Wait, this is the point? Yeah, no. we're tied. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. He's going to... I'm, I'm not eating. I'm not eating butt potatoes, dude. I don't care if this scolds my hand. It's hot. Yeah, I know it is. I'm not eating butt potatoes, though. I am not that. That's not <laughs> happening. I'm not eating potatoes. 
<laughs> well, you know. It's not happening, brother. One more minute, Jerry. I mean, no, 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 no. How many minutes? Yes. You did it. Yes. He didn't even get let go of it. You did it like go. Oh my god. So Who's ready for some potatoes? You got these potatoes ready for you? Okay, so how does this work? We're gonna put the potatoes. Potatoes on the trash bag. I'm gonna squash them with my butt, and then you have to eat the potatoes. Oh god, that's so <laughs> gross. Go ahead, dude. Are you gonna show this process? Of course. Yeah. All right, go ahead, dude. This expert craftsmanship of potatoes. <sighs> yep, Jeremiah's seasoning it for you. It's probably gonna burn my butt. Yeah, that's a good. Sh dude. <laughs> Dude, I have to eat that? <laughs> Dude, it just went in my butthole. <laughs> Let me see. Dude, his nuts are on it, man! <laughs> Dude, his nuts are on it! Dude, this is... Dude, I didn't agree to that! I didn't agree to his nuts all over his butt! None of, dude, dude, his head... I'm sorry that my... Dude. I'm sorry my hangers are falling in. <laughs> this is horrible. Dude! Oh, man. how could this be? This is horrible. Dude, he squashed them so good too. All right, dude, get your get your nuts off of them. Get your nuts off of them, dude. This is I didn't agree to the nuts and the butt. Oh, that's warm. Oh, that burned me. Good. God, this is disgusting. I, can I get sick? Can I get Ebola from this? Oh yeah. No, shut up. <laughs> He's smashing those potatoes. <laughs> Dude, this is so disgusting. <laughs> I mashed them pretty good, huh? You mashed them great. I'm not eating the middle because your nuts and ass were right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not eating that. I went all over them. All right. All right, dude. Fuck, what a great day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a fucking great day, dude. Give me, can I get a paper towel? Here, I'll get them. I'll get them. I gotta wipe. This is so gross. Did you? I'm eating your your nuts and your ass here. What? <laughs> this is so gross. What do you What do you need that for? Well, just. To, are you getting this? Do I eat it here? Yeah. Okay. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <Get that. laughs> oh. This is so. Dude, I'm eating his. So gross. What does it taste like? Your nuts in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to <laughs> taste like a strawberry cheesecake, dude. <laughs> Just, dude, I'm eating. Dude, this is so gross. <laughs> I can't believe I agree to this. Oh, I think it did burn my butthole. Yeah. I think it really did. Dude, you really is got that... in there where it was super hot. Yeah. Oh, dude. Do you need some pube garnish? <laughs> <laughs> this is gross. It dude. doesn't Jeez. help that he can't chew the food very well. It's, it's got to linger. linger. It's got to <laughs> linger. Wow. This is the story of a potato It's devated so well Everybody knows that he really, really likes the
taste And he won't let any of this go to waste The legend of the potato The legend of the potato I want my beef jerky back. It's like Steve is eating Jeremiah's butt And with every bite He loses his trust The legend of the potato Rockstar, you guys didn't say I couldn't drink. Steve, what does it taste like when you eat potatoes from the bus? What does it taste like? What does it taste like? What's it taste like? Your nuts and your asshole, asshole. It tastes like my nuts and asshole, asshole. That's what Stevie said. It tastes like nuts and asshole, according to Steve. <laughs> I hate you so what much right it now. Is. <laughs> it oh God, dude, this is horrible, dude. It, dude, if a hair's in here. The legend of the potato Steve ate it and savored it And loved the flavor of it Cause every second that he chewed His nuts became so blue Cause he got off on the fact that it was And when he ate the potato, he thought of it later fondly. The legend of the potato. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Scissor Bros. We love you guys. You're you're off camera right now, brother. They can't see that beautiful face of yours. Actually, have you been swallowing? You're just yeah. a squirrel packing your face. We need to see some swallow, brother. Cause the thing that I don't want to see is as soon as the camera stop rolling, you spit that sucker out. Cause I know your tactics, and you already had a monster energy drink, which was a little bit of a loophole because we specifically didn't say don't drink monster energy drink for whoever loses. So make sure that you tune in on Patreon, patreon.com slash scissorbros. You get the exclusive bonus episodes every single week. March 21st, my new one-hour special drops on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. And look out for Steve's new album. Probably coming very soon. He's been working really hard on it. Patreon.com slash scissorbros. Love you guys. There's so much food in your mouth right now. Dude, I, it's difficult psychologically knowing that your nuts and ass were just on the these things that's in my mouth. You have no idea, dude. Thank God I didn't win this because, dude, you'd have more than, you'd have all kinds of different things in your potato. <laughs> there would have been chives in there. All kinds of added skin textures. Oh. Thanks for tuning, tuning in. in. Butt crust. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anyone still there? 
It's your pal, Gerald. And while there wasn't a far corner, there's kind of a poo corner with the challenge. So we're all about compromise over here at Scissor Bros. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. I've been loving the shit out of not getting included. What the fuck, man? But anyway, I digress. Been going to my meetings lately. And I got a porcupine pregnant. I know the optics on that are kind of strange with me being a giraffe and all. But got to get it wet where I can get it wet. Okay, well, I got to go because I got a throbbing boner. Love you guys. Bye. It tastes like my nuts and nuts, a whole ass, a whole, that's what Stevie said. It tastes like nuts and nuts, all according to Steve. I'm <laughs> taking so much right now. It's-